Hi, I'm Larry Fleischman, Director of Marketing for Televerde, and welcome to Televerde Insight. Today I'm here with Maureen McCormick. Maureen is a Director of Marketing Operations for Trend Micro, one of Televerde's clients. And today we're going to be talking with Maureen about some of the marketing strategies, demand creation strategies, that is, programs, as well as some of the best practices and challenges uh, that Maureen's experiencing as part of her day-to-day -day role at Trend Micro. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So Maureen, tell us about some of the uh, high performing, some of the highest performing demand creation strategies and programs at Trend Micro and some of the practices that are embedded within these programs that you feel are enabling these strong results. Um, definitely the Human Touch Cloud Connector is helping us, um, is, is helping with the speed of leads, right? So when people go to our website and submit forms, we're able to talk to those people within minutes versus how we were doing things a couple of years ago where it would take two days, sometimes five days to respond to that hand raiser. Um, those data sets are performing extremely well for us because we're able to talk to that person within minutes of the form submit, we're able to make right party contact, convert that conversation into a qualified lead, and we're seeing those leads being accepted at a higher rate um, from, their sale, from our sales reps, and um, those leads are converting into pipeline opportunities. So. That is probably um, the highest performing data set that we're seeing to date. At the end of the day, both, as you know, both sales and marketing share accountability for helping Trend Micro, or any company for that matter, achieve their revenue growth objectives. So tell us a little bit about how at Trend Micro you achieved this stronger alignment between sales and marketing, and what kind of results you're seeing in terms of demand creation and pipeline acceleration. That's a great question. And this year, I think, is the best year that we're having so far with building a very strong alignment between marketing and sales. Um, so we're taking um, the, the exercise of defining a lead very seriously. It's a conversation that both marketing and sales are having together. And um, we're documenting um, what a lead looks like, what the lead criteria is for each segment in our business. And um, that's definitely helping because now there's no question Sales, tell me what a lead looks like, and I'll go find that for you. And um, we're seeing higher conversion rates in the demand waterfall. The other thing that we're doing this year that's a little bit different is um, the exercise of defining an SLA. We never really took SLAs seriously before. It was kind of this, you know, unwritten, you know, wink, wink <laughs> agreement between sales and marketing. But now it's documented on paper, and we have a diagram that actually shows how a lead is born and where it goes through our systems and um, the time frame it takes for a rep to um, change the status of that lead. Um, so it's really helping it. It's helping us stay on top of our leads so leads are not falling through the cracks. Um, and if leads are falling through the cracks, we have a backup plan. We have lead nurturing programs running in Eloqua that are catching those leads, engaging with those leads and um, nurturing them. So Trend Micro uses marketing automation to help drive and support your demand creation programs. Yes. And I know making that decision to bring a marketing automation tool into the mix was probably not an easy one. And it never is even for the most sophisticated organizations. Mm -hmm. Talk to us a little bit about how you made that decision and why you made that decision. The reason why we were drawn towards marketing automation was because at the time we were using external agencies to actually manage our data and manage our marketing strategy and they were executing our marketing campaigns for us and it was very expensive and it was not very agile um, and we really we were at their, their mercy really um, and we didn't have a lot of control over our data and it just became a problem where you know you at Trend Micro, you know, leaders in a marketing organization are trying to make strategy changes and you're trying to plan, yet the people that are actually executing for you don't sit with you. You know, they sit um, in another time zone somewhere and they're charging you by the hour. So I think the most important reason was um, cost. We wanted to bring everything in-house, have one platform, integrate that platform with our CRM system so that we had yeah. more control and it enabled us to do more, to be more agile. Um, and, um, you know, make an investment in our people and train them in marketing automation so that 
um, you know, this is this marketing automation is here and it's not going away. So, um, you know, it was a very conscious decision to bring it in house, solve some business problems that we were having, and um, and it's definitely a journey. I mean, we've been on a marketing automation platform for a little over two years, and we're still learning more about how to become more um, efficient and more productive as an organization. So it's definitely a journey. Let's switch gears a little bit, but not too much. Marketing data quality. Let's talk about that. that mm. That's an issue for, again, even the most sophisticated organizations. So talk to us a little bit about how you're solving your, your marketing data quality issues, assuming you've had some, mm. and I can tell by the nod that you have. Yeah. And, and how are you keeping the data quality kind of uh, up to standards on a regular basis? Well, Televerde is absolutely helping. Every single record that they touch and they validate they're um, correcting, enhancing, appending information to those contacts, and we're getting that information back into our instance. So that's that's great. Um, we're also taking a very proactive approach and planned approach now this year where we are purging our contacts from our marketing automation platform. We know what the unmarketable contacts are. We know those hard bounces, the unsubscribes. Um, we're actively pulling them out of the database so that we know how big is our universe, what are the titles that we have, you know, what are the unmarketable, what are the marketable, um, and that helps the field marketing team kind of understand, you know, we call it their patch, um, and they understand, you know, how many contacts and companies do I have in my patch to target, how many are healthcare, how many are in the financial vertical. Um, so that's one thing that we're doing um, that's really helping, I think, this year. And last year, we didn't purge contacts. I think we, you know, again, it's a journey. We were taking a really conservative approach on cleansing the database and keeping it up to date. Um, and we weren't sure what was right and wrong to do. So, um, you know, we just need to kind of figure it out. The world of marketing is changing. And it's evolving at a pretty rapid pace and probably will continue to do so for a while. What advice do you have for other marketing people, other marketing operations people in terms of how they handle all this change um, and has it reframed your view of how you're doing things at, at Trend Micro? I think the advice I could give to other organizations is be open-minded. You know, um, listen to your vendors, listen to your partners, listen to the analysts, um, talk to you and educate you on best practice approach to um, B2B or B2C marketing, you know, there's a reason why they're experts. Um, and, you know, be willing to test and learn and course correct over the, over the, uh, along the way and um, learn from it. You know, we, with every mistake, you can learn something to enhance or improve. So um, you have to be willing to um, kind of take the good with the bad. So be willing to fail. If you're going to fail, fail fast. We've all learned that lesson before. Mm -hmm. When you succeed, diagnose the, the causes for the success and figure out how to replicate it. Uh, iterative improvements along the yeah. way, is that? Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and keep in mind, it's a journey. Um, you know, just have, an, have your eyes wide open that, you know, you don't know what you don't know. So um, test, learn, and course correct, and, and just be as agile as possible. Good advice. Thanks, Maureen. Thank you. And uh, that'll wrap it up for today. You can find this video and other Televerdi Insight videos uh, in the resources section of Televerdi.com. And thanks for joining us.